Okay, so in this lesson, we'll be working with graphic elements. The way that you can access graphic elements in Google Drawings is just by going back up to this toolbar and clicking on the shape icon. And when you do that, you'll see a drop down menu with lots of different options of different shapes that you could work with. So look through these options and then look for shapes that you think best communicate your message and your brand or just shapes that you'd like to use to create your design. And just as a, an example, I'm going to use a heart. Even though I know that I'm not really going to use this, I'll delete this after. Now once you've selected the shape, you can add it to your document. And so just by holding down and moving your mouse across the screen. You see you can uh, select the proportions of your shape. So I could have a very long heart or I could have a very narrow heart. But like before, if you want to keep it in proportion, you just hold down the shift key and that keeps everything, uh, these fixed proportions. And then if you release, you have the shape on your, on your screen. Now I don't really want to use a heart. I actually want to add a rectangle in here, so I'll do that now. So just by going to the shape icon, down to the drop down menu, and then selecting the rectangle, I can just add a rectangle to my document. And again, I'm going to change the color and the sizing of this, and I'll do that in just a second. So when you added your shape to your e-card, the shape has likely covered your text, which you might not want. So to move the shape behind text, all you do is you select the shape, and then in the drop-down menu, select Arrange, then Order, and then Send to Back. And so that'll put your shape, here, let me just show you, you can see, it, it just puts the shape behind everything in the document. Now, if you wanted to uh, bring it all to the front again, you would select the shape, then select Arrange, Order, and then Bring to Front. And that'll bring it back on top of everything. Okay, so now you've got the shape that you want. And if you're still working to the template that I've set up for you, you'll want to position your shape in this space that I've left for you here in the image placeholder section. So you would just place your shape there and then select the placeholder box and then hit delete and then that will be gone. Now you don't have to use your shape there, you could use it elsewhere on the design. And that's actually what I'm going to do with my rectangle. For my e-card, the title of the report is still the most important part of the design but I want to make the call to download the full report a little mo more noticeable. So what I'm going to do with this rectangle is I will just place it behind the text to create a colored bar that will help this call to action stand out a little bit more. So now that I have it placed here, what I'll do is just select a range again, then order, and then I will send this rectangle to the back. And then what I'm going to do here is just tidy up the border of this rectangle. So I want an equal space as best I can. Have a, the same space on each side of the text. Um, the same space between the edge of this type and the edge of this rectangle. Just to make sure that everything's neatly lined up. as best as I can. Okay. And just using the, those red guides again to help me in the process. Okay, and that seems pretty lined up like that. And so I'll just keep that like that for now. Although the color and then this black border isn't quite what I want, but I'll show you how to change that in a bit. Besides using shapes in your e-card, you could also use illustrations or images. 
And the way that you would add these to your e-card is just by going again to the toolbar and clicking the image icon here. And you'll be able to pull images from either your drive or you'll be able to upload images from your computer. And then, and then just work with them in your e-card. Now, I've, I'm going to add an image. I'm going to add an illustration to this e-card. And I will be getting this illustration from Revolution Decoded, again, the website and the report, because there are some really lovely designs, elements to this report. And I think that it'd be really nice to use a little bit of this to capture the flavor of the aesthetic style of this report and add it to the e-card. So the way that I'll do this is I've got the illustration that I'm working with. I've just clipped a small part of that more complex illustration. I'll just be using this computer. I'm just going to copy it. And so copy. And then I will paste it. Okay, let's come all the way down here. I don't know why that happened. And then I'll just place it right here for now. And then delete my image placeholder in the back. And again, like all the other images, you can make it bigger and smaller just by dragging the uh, corners, or I could compress it, stretch it. But I don't want that. I'll just leave it as it is. Now, the graphic of the computer screen and mouse. This is something that we designed ourselves as small media. But if you don't feel comfortable creating icons or symbols on your own, you can use the Noun project. Here, let me just show you what this website looks like. You can use the Noun Project as a place to find simple graphic symbols to use. The Noun Project is where we found the icons that we're using for the lessons here on Advocacy Assembly. So you can see this is just a starting point. They have icons that represent basically every concept. The Noun Project is free to join and you either pay $1.99 per each icon you use or you can use them for free as long as you follow the attribution rules. This is a really great tool to use if you don't have access to an illustrator. Okay, and, and those are all the, the graphic elements that I'm going to use here. So let's go on to the next lesson.